Eric Pyle is the Chief Executive of the New Zealand Walking Access Commission. And Eric, you're with us now. Yes, I am. Y good, y good evening. Good evening. Lovely to talk to you. Matt Lau is basically throwing down the gauntlet and saying, tell him who has been denied access. Do you know people who have been denied access? Yes, absolutely. And uh, there's been a long-standing access dispute that's been going on there for um, decades. And um, so, Sorry, yeah. Eric, to interrupt, but the decades aren't Matt <coughs> Lauer's problem, right? So who has been denied access since Matt Lauer's had it? Um, certainly people from the Upper Clutha Tracks Trust, our own RFA, Regional Field Advisor, who is based in, in, um, in that area, um, was told to go away in terms that I wouldn't want to use on public radio. Right. The Upper Clutha Tracks Trust have been denied access? Members thereof. OK, because our producer Bridget Burke spoke to them and she was told just before we came on air that none of them asked for access because they just didn't think, they just assumed they wouldn't get it. Yep, yeah, that, that's, that's part of it as well. And it's great to hear that Matt Lauer was, has, is taking a different approach, it seems, um, and that people now can ask for access. One of the reasons that we're very keen on something like an easement, some sort of system, is that what we find in these fantastic high country stations is that with increasing tourist numbers, with increasing recreation, farmers get lots and lots of phone calls. And we've had numerous farmers say to us, actually, we got sick of the phone ringing, we wanted to sort something out, can you sort an easement, an agreement, work with the Department of Conservation or whatever. So we're not being disturbed repeatedly during our dinner, during people, you know, while, and so we can get on with our lives and have someone else help us manage the numbers of people going through. Right, let's, 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 let's talk specifically about uh, Hunter Valley and Matt, and Matt Lauer's ownership. A yep. and, 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 I, and I guess the question is, how many uh, recommendations did you uh, take to the OIO? Um, I would need to look that up. I think we took nine, nine recommendations. Yeah, and, and how many of them were accepted? I think it was four were accepted. I think, I look, I'm, I look, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was six, is that right? Six, yeah, I haven't I, got that. Okay, look, I'm look, well, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, look, we, and we appreciate you coming on at short notice. I guess yep. the point is, wasn't the time to fight this through the OIO? Now that Matt Lauer has the lease, it's not so much a case of caveat emptor, it's a case of seller beware, isn't it? Didn't we give this man the land under conditions which he says he's honouring? Well, there's some... Uh, difficult wording in those conditions, um, and one is acting reason. Uh, one set of word is acting reasonably. What does that mean? We're very keen to define that for people um, for, uh, for access, so that everybody is absolutely clear on what that means. <clears throat> what do you want? What 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 would make it okay I in terms of access for people to this beautiful land, and particularly the public land beyond it? What is it you're after? We, we're after, and we're very clear on this, we're after managed vehicle access up into the uh, Hawea Conservation Park. When we say managed, we acknowledge that the terrain is tricky, we acknowledge that there's a farming operation, um, and what we'd like to see is a number of vehicles carefully, carefully managed, people get a permit system, there are systems like that that are in operation, they're operated by the Department of Conservation, there's one nearby through the Lauda Conservation Park, we need to get uh, permission and keys at both ends of it to go through that. So there are examples around the country where this occurs. I guess Matt Lau um, was saying to us an hour ago, and, and I'm paraphrasing him roughly, hey, that already exists. Yep. All you've got to do is call and ask and I'll let you in. Yeah, and now that he said that, um, I would expect that there would be thousands of people interested in, in going through this this area and up into the Hawea Conservation Park because, as we all agree, it is an absolutely outstanding part of New Zealand. Yeah, it's it's, it's beautiful. Question, but I guess the question is... How can we manage that effectively? Yeah, and how can we ensure that people go through and that there aren't thousands of people going through in a way that disrupts the farming operation? Yeah, because he did purchase something and he was given the right to purchase it by, by ministers who approved by the OIO. So, so whatever we think of this, he's behaved in good faith. It's just that you don't think that the OIO set satisfactory conditions around the purchase of the lease? Well, that's part of it. What is, um, what is acting reasonably? Let's define it. Let's sit down and work that through. Is it 100 people over a year? That's sort of, you know, over 14, 15 months. That's sort of one vehicle, a, 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 a sort of one and a half vehicles a week or something like that. Is it 100? Is it 1,000? What is reasonable? Let's define that. Let's work that through. 
Um, look, look, I just want to get to the bottom of who's asked. The Upper Clutha trustees, uh, Grant Fife and John Wellington, say nobody has asked. And, and the Upper Clutha trustees keep being cited as the people who've asked and been denied access. They say nobody from the Upper Clutha trustees has asked. Is, is, is it possible that, that you are fighting the, the, the larger issue here, which is the whole notion of, of foreign ownership and private ownership of what we regard as very special New Zealand land. And that in the specific case, the facts aren't necessarily as bad as they are being represented in terms of Matt Lauer's management, consistent with the consents under the OIO. Uh, we're certainly not um, fighting any sort of policy issue or anything like that. I mean, we take a, a, an absolutely straightforward approach on this. We're about access to the outdoors. And the question here is, how do we enable people and can we enable people to get access to the absolutely stunning Hawea Conservation Park? And we see examples, and I heard Matt, Matt Lauer talk about the farming operation. A couple of valleys over into Mount Aspiring, 80,000 people go through that farm to access Mount Aspiring each year. And that works, and that works for everybody. And we can make arrangements work, um, even at, at those you know, really quite high numbers. Eric Powell from the New Zealand Walking Access Commission, we, we really appreciate it. And we're going to look at how those arrangements can be made to work over the next few days. Thank you for your time this evening.